Okay, let's try this for round three. This, no, round four. Uh, just nothing's going right today. So I'll try to adjust this as quickly as possible so that I don't fuck it up again. Sorry for the beeping in the background. My computer's blowing up. Um, anyways, I got a request to basically elaborate a little bit on the difference with the pros and cons between full body movements and isolation movements. Um, as a general rule, your workouts, no matter what you're doing, whether you're police, fire, military, crossfit, powerlifting, you know, what have you, should be compound full body movements. Squats, deadlifts, power cleans. Um, with powerlifters, obviously there's going to be a focus on the bench press. Um, but when you have, like with strongman, stones, log, super yoke, farmers, any of these things require your whole body to move as a unit, and it strengthens your core and everything else around it. Isolation movements do have their place in these sports. Um, let's take powerlifting, for example. When you have to, if you're a geared bencher, and you have to focus on your lockouts, um, you know, the shirt's only going to help you, you know, four or five inches off the chest. You know, the rest you have to lock out. If your triceps aren't strong enough, you're not going to make the lockout. Um, so... Those isolation movements, you know, increasing your tricep strength is going to be fundamental in that, but they are only assistance exercises. Your workout should not be, you know, isolation movements all the time, uh, unless you plan on being a professional stripper and, you know, shaving your body and wearing a bikini around. Um, isolation movements are, are, are kind of useless as an entire workout. It's not going to make you stronger. It's not going to make you a better athlete. Um, like I said, they have their place but they're not the foundation of your workout. If you can't do anything else besides squat and deadlift, you're good to go. You know, those are the two primary exercises that are going to build overall power and mass in your body, whether you're a man or a woman. Um, so there you have it. That's the uh, simple answer, and that's all I have to say. If you have any questions, comments, you want to make fun of me, give me a thumbs down on YouTube again, whoever that jackass was. I'll see you next time at the coach's desk.